YouTube, what's happening? A lot's going on. <laughs> a lot's going on here. I got a lot going on. I got a pipe. I got some drink. I got a lighter. I got a tamper. I it's just get real. <laughs> I got some um, Latakia flake in this beautiful pipe. It's one of my favorites. It's my favorite that I don't know the name of it. Costello, I think. Yeah. But that Latakia flake just started... Just started firing. I got this is my second light. Okay, uh, about to be my third. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in. Cheers to you. Just a little update on my buddy that uh, I tried to get him to pipe smoking. I didn't try to get him into pipe smoking. He wanted into pipe smoking. And I got him a uh, corn cob, the tamper. I gave him some Northwoods, which is amazing, and some H&H um, &H Dark Fired Kentucky. Want to take a guess what he liked better? The H&H &H Dark Fired Kentucky. <laughs> it's more robust, you know, more flavorful. You know, it's the second, well, yeah, at break we smoked a little bit. We smoked two bowls together, and then uh, on the ride home we smoked the, the rest of the H and H. But uh, he was trying to learn the <coughs> excuse me the, the tricks of lighting and tamping, and just walking him through it to a bit, and he was getting pretty good. You didn't miss a beat. And uh, I said, man, on the when we were smoking the, the Northwood, I said, man, try that retro hound at once. I said, what's that? I said, it was breathe out your nose. And he's like, he's like, you inhale? I said, no, I just, just slowly suck it in through your nose. And he says, oh man, I can't do it. I gotta, I gotta inhale it to breathe through my nose. I said, well, you gotta learn it, man. That's, well, you can do it that way. I mean, who, who am I to say that's right or wrong? But I said, I thought the reason they smoke a pipe is not to inhale it. People can, I guess, you know. Who am I? Yeah, but it was funny. I, I thought everybody could actually do it, but it was, when he was doing it, I remembered I watched a video of people were trying to tell people how to retro and it was like, <laughs> my got a little booger out there, but no, it was, uh, it was, it was cool to see, but, you know, once you get it, you got it, you know what I mean? It's like one of them things, sorry, I had a booger hanging. It was like, once you get it, you got it, you know, it was kind of cool. I don't remember having trouble with it. Maybe I did. I don't know. Hmm. But as a, a as Friday, he liked it. Mm hmm. But thank you for all your tips and suggestions you had, like Herferville with carrying that uh the bag with you to help other people just in. You know, trying to smoke here. I got a little sample for you. Bam, bang! I love it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't understand why this pipe is just perfect for me. I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't know. It just smokes right. It just feels right. Yeah. I wish I could, like, do a dry run on pipes. Like, just, you know, buy a pipe. Now, let me take it home for, like, 30 days. If I don't like it, can I bring it back? <laughs> Is that a thing? Can I do that? <laughs> hmm. I'm 30 days back on my guarantee. That sounds fucking fantastic. Oh, sorry for my cursive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, <laughs> I did learn something. When you're teaching somebody, I found out you learned something along the way. And, what I learned, I got learned. <laughs> you can't force a smoke. You can't force a pipe smoke. I mean, you can. Like, uh, it just made me realize, just say you're at a pipe club and 
you're trying all kind of tobacco pipes, you know, and you're just smoking the smoke, I guess, you know. And it real it made me realize this week that I like to instead of like driving and smoking and like talking and smoking, I'd rather just listen and smoke, you know, and just sit and relax. It was just um, it was so weird, cause like when I was teaching, we were sitting, we were having a break, and <coughs> excuse me, we were uh, we were taking lunch, and I was showing him how to smoke, and I was smoking my pipe, and he was smoking his, and smoking the same thing, and I'm walking him through it and stuff, and <clears throat> on the ride home, I said, man, I, I just smoke a nice pipe on the ride home, you know. And, I'm smoking. I'm not saying it wasn't a, not enjoyable. It's, it's always a good smoke. But, um, yeah, I'm smoking, talking, I'm, you know, light, I'm smoking, looking, and like, I just, maybe it's because I'm used to smoking by myself that it's just more relaxing, you know, just, you know, puffing and inhaling, exhaling, you know, daydreaming and you know, thinking and. I don't know. There was just something I learned that I was like, you just can't force a, force a pipe. You can't force me. I will turn it down. I will, I will not turn it down. I will not. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so, you know, my first pipe, since, I mean, it's Saturday night, you know, and then my first pipe since Friday afternoon. And, uh, I'm going to sit and enjoy this with you. I know I'm talking too much. That's what I do. I'm a chatterbox. I feel like I tell my buddy, I was like, you know, he's a single dad, you know, he just likes to, you know, whatever dude likes to do, you know, you come home from work, you know what I mean? You, you take care of your business. At nighttime, you have a couple of drinks, you know, you start a bonfire in the summertime, you have some friends over. You know, you just sit there and you <clears throat> just puff a pipe if you're by yourself, you know. I think 80% of the time we're all by ourselves, you know. We can say we have a lot of friends and stuff, we're always busy, but we'll push up and shove you're, you're mainly by yourself, you know, and just, it's a nice little getaway, have a couple beers, just sit by the fireplace, drinking, smoking. It could be a cup of tea, it could be a cup of whiskey, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? Just a nice relaxation. You know, nobody can take it away from you. And that's what I love about this hobby. It's like, it's, you know, it's it's at least a good 35, 40 minutes to yourself just to relax. And if you do a double, double pipe, <laughs> endless, you know, because uh, it's unfortunate that the two of us can't be hanging out, smoking pipes together, you know, like the Herfers. I mean, that's so cool what you guys have. You guys are... <coughs> Sit there and smoke and chit chat back and forth, you know. That's nice, you know. A lot of us don't have that that opportunity. Like I was telling him, was like, oh man, it's nice in the summertime. I have my lights on in the backyard. There's some music going, fire up. I mean, I'm just all over the place, you know. Me and the dog are out. I said, Tracy, you know, she don't come out because she don't like getting bit by bugs and. I guess the smoke and the whiskey, the mosquitoes hate me. <laughs> they wish they could get a bite of this. <laughs> They'd be all drunk up, but uh, just messing around. But uh, yeah, it's uh, to each their own, you know. What? Who don't like to relax? Mm hmm. Like last night. I got home late. I said, I said, ah, we gotta go to my mother in law's house for Christmas after dinner. Like knickknacks and snacks and stuff, and sandwiches, leftovers, and stuff. And, uh, some root beer and stuff like that, and the sandwiches got home at like 9 o'clock. I said, I should go down and smoke a pipe, make a drink, go down and smoke a pipe, and we're just, I just, I just wasn't in the mood, so you know what, I didn't, 
that's the beauty of the hobby that I found. You know, just like a, an awakening that I, I don't force it. It's like, <clears throat> I don't, like somebody said, if it, if it was like a hundred dollars a bowl, you would smoke that thing till it was bare briar. <laughs> you know what I mean? But since it's not, you, you don't care if you finish it or not, you know? Hmm. It puts a little things in perspective, I guess. Appreciate things a little better, I guess. For some odd reason, I love these. I love these uh, check tools. I got this check tool too. You know, it's the forty-five the little pick thing. Boom, bang, boom, boom. Creature of habit. I don't ever use that thing. Like the one Ladon made me. I love that. The cigar one. It looks like a cigar. I love. I love that thing. It's so gorgeous. I don't even want to use it, but you know, I should use it. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know. Well, like they say, if you ain't learning, you ain't living. So, the more you learn, the longer you live. I hope not. <laughs> That's weird. I want to live till 200. That'd be, oh, that'd be a battle of bones. I look ugly now. Could you imagine me 200 years old? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So my old well, friend, uh, Glass, he is he's having a uh, New Year's party. Not much in the party. Christmas, yeah, New Year's. No, you, we've been young before. Now it's hard to stay up till 12 o'clock, right? <laughs> I mean, I can stay up till 12 o'clock in my own home. But somewhere else and party and then have to drive home and all that. Trust me, I do not drive the UI. I do not do that. It's, that's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Unless you're really good at it. But anywho, no, um... He's having a New Year's Eve party. And he asked me on Thursday, Hey man, I'm having a party on New Year's Day, you know, for New Year's Eve. Oh man, my brother's gonna be there. We got food, this and that. It's gonna be a great time. And I'm like, Hey, I like a good party. I like to get together, play games, and what have you. Not pen and tails of dark humor. We're talking like some categories or, you know, cards, poker, <coughs> you know, connect four. I don't know. So, <laughs> you told me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool. I'm down, I'm down with the party. I'll be there. Yeah, me, me and the missus will be there. That'd be cool. So that was Thursday. What is today? Saturday. Friday afternoon is uh my buddy's voice called my woman she says, Oh, I don't know, my buddy or my husband told you it's a it's a pajama pajama party. And I'm like Tracy told me this Saturday or Friday night. And I said, pajama party. Really? A bunch of old people in their pajamas partying. I said, I don't I don't understand that. I was like, why can't we just wear our regular clothes? Why is that gotta be pajamas? She said, We can wear sweatpants. I'm like, uh, you just said the other day, hey, I will never go to the dollar store in sweatpants. I gotta put jeans on, you know, all that stuff. And you can't Wear sweatpants and slippers to the grocery store? Yeah, you shouldn't. But you can wear them to a, a party. And I'm like, just what happens if her car breaks down? She's like, well, we'll call a AAA. I'm like, I'm still in my pajamas. I look like a retard. <laughs> Anyhow, but, um, 
I'm just not a big fan of uh, pajama parties. Why do I gotta... It's, it's not dressing up like Halloween. I mean, that's cool. I will do that. But a pajama party, it's like... <laughs> negative. <laughs> negative on that. Who says I wear pajamas? Would that be the all-time backfire? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm Buck. Buck naked. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Buck naked. <laughs> yeah. That's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Just stupid. I mean, in college, yeah, it'd probably be cool. Old people wearing pajamas, got the butt flaps, the weird hat, like on the, like the dozen on nightcap, got that weird nightcap thing on. Yeah, that's, nah. <laughs> I ain't signing up for that. I tell you, I love it down here. I really do. And like everybody always comments, man, you look so chill and cool down there. <laughs> Believe you me, you do, baby. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better. I enjoy a pipe more down here. It's like, like people say, oh, you found your spot. Yes, I did. Yep. My woman don't smell it anymore. She's ah, oh, it stinks. <laughs> well, yes, it does. <laughs> I love it. I think what I might do in later years put some like nice wood up. Well, not nice wood, but just some wood paneling around here. And let the let the smoke like really suck into the room and the wood. So when you walk in the room, you could really it's like a smoke room. Like just say you were like a barbecue joint, and it would just have that nice aroma when you walk into it. You just smell like shipping going on in here. <laughs> yes, it had. That's my room. <laughs> That's my room. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I've been really enjoying my flakes lately. <clears throat> the next flake, I mean, I tried that uh, Peterson the, the blue tin back here. I tried that flake. Straight Virginia. I... For some odd reason, I didn't like it. But the... The full Virginia Salmon Gawa flake. I love that flake. I don't know what... The, I thought they would be the same. Maybe my palate is just... I haven't had a nice Virginia flake in a long time. I don't even know if it is a... Nice straight Virginia. That's an original recipe. That sounds like... Five times it says it. I get to get their point across. Maybe because it's brown. I don't know. It's a brown flake. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work on that one. I think. Hmm. I think I really like the Latakia flake a lot more than the. Yeah. Hmm. Latakia flake and the dark and tucky. Latakia, it tastes the same the whole way through the bowl. Someone read for me the dark, strong Kentucky. You get halfway, you get like different flavors in there. Just for me, it, it happens.
But if I'm really paying my money for the the ladder key, it's like that's you get your money's worth on it because that's what you get. <laughs> I guess, depends what you eat, depends what you're drinking, I guess, it would change. It has to. It has to change for, you know, it just can't taste the same all the time. It's like fine wine. <laughs> it has to change. What if I'm smoking a different pipe? It gotta change. Oh, I changed. I burned it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. That's Tom Crawford in a, in, a, in a fine style. I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry if you can't hear the music, but I'm sorry if you can. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Think about taking this. Jeff Burton thing down. That's cars. Nah. nah. Yeah, I might paint a mural back here or something. Thinking about it. For some odd reason, I'm getting it really into getting into painting. Just having my imagination run wild. That's nice. Good. I could always draw when I was younger. And they said I was going to be an artist when I was in school. And, uh, painting now, but artist probably. But, uh, it's nice to, uh, I think to say I'm doing a tobacco tray. I sit there and I look at it, I stare at it. <clears throat> I'll draw a little picture on there or something. I'm staring at it. I'm like, all of a sudden, I feel like I'm Bob Ross. I'm like, just a little happy bush over here, a little boop, 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 boop. And all of a sudden, a picture comes alive. Just a couple little details make a whole painting come alive. And I'm learning that. It's kind of tobacco. It's just, it's got to sit back and relax and enjoy it for a bit. Mm. If you blink, you might miss it. It might not come back. <laughs> I think that may be fairly... Fairler's Bueller's Day Off. Fuller, Fuller. Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> that movie back in the day. I think you watched that. I think he said the same thing. Was his name Ferris Bueller? Ferris? Who named her kid Ferris? It had to be Ferris Bueller's. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> I don't know if the principal was saying that. Or the teacher was saying that. Bueller, Bueller, <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, she's almost done. 24 minutes, holy moly, where did they go? <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're chilling just like me. <clears throat> if not, sorry for your luck. Email me. <laughs> no, just kidding. You can if you want. Lilac Eve Flake. Fantastic. This pipe, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, YouTube. I'm gonna make another video in a couple, 
couple minutes later. Let me enjoy this one. I might do some, might do that Peterson flake. Make another drink. Because I haven't smoked in a while. Might do a double, double, double puffer, as they say. Yes, sir. All right. Check you later.